Hello YouTube, Flight Sim Guy here. This is my second video in my Learn the Mad Dog series, and today we're going to talk about the communication system. All right, let's go ahead and go into the cockpit. I already have the cockpit running from my previous video, and my sinus infection has not yet gone away, so my voice is still hell. Anyway, we're talking about the communication system. This is going to involve your communication management panel, also known as the flight interphone system, which is here. It's also up here. And we're also going to be talking about NAV1, NAV2, COM1, COM2, and your transponder and ADFs. All right, so first let's talk about the flight interphone system. There are only two sets of headsets in the cockpit, one for the pilot and co-pilot. I guess there's one for the, uh, the other guy in the jump seat if he's coming along. But there's a whole bunch of different systems that uh, the audio needs to go through. This helps manage that, okay? These are radio buttons. Only one can be pressed in at a time. Whichever system is activated, that's the system that's receiving audio from the microphone. There's VHF 1, 2, and 3. There are three comm radios in this aircraft. The documentation only shows two. Um, there's comm These are the three comm radios, and I'm not sure which one is 1, 2, and 3. It doesn't say here, and if you go to the co-pilot side, it doesn't say here either. But I'm pretty sure one is a one, one is a two, and one is a three. All right, going back over here. This selects whichever radio you want to talk through. HF1 and HF2, I know what HF stands for, but I'm not sure what radios those are. It says high frequency radio one, high frequency radio two. The flight interphone system in the documentation does not match what's here. It doesn't have these two. In fact, the documentation has these two buttons that's in up, so I'm not sure what these radios are. This is your interphone, and this is the public address. This allows you to talk to the people outside. These buttons open and close. Once it's closed, you can receive, you can hear. And this, since it turns, tells me it's a volume knob. All right? That's all these are. This button here is for your marker beacons. Whenever you're flying over the outer, inner, and uh, middle markers, if you want to hear them beeping, you want to make sure that this is pushed in. This one here is not used for anything. These two turn on the uh, your ADF. So when you tune into an ADF uh, or an NDB station, and these are on, it's going to beat that Morse code to you. This is for one and two. There are two ADF radios. ADF 1, ADF 2. We'll talk about those later. All right. Next, these uh, turn on and off your notification for the VOR radios. We are at normal manly. All right. So I know that there's a VOR on station 115.5. should start beeping shortly and there it goes took a while but there it goes there and this is for uh, nav 1 nav 2 and I think that's it this controls where the uh, headsets is uh, sending and receiving the audio signals from there's this one down here and there's another one up here all right, now let's talk about the radios. All right, so there are three comm radios. Um, I can only guess one, two, three. I really and truly don't know. Uh, these radios are your standard uh, radios that you see in all your add-ons. This outer changes the left side of the decimal. Inner changes the right side. This swaps active and standby frequency. This tests your comm. And this is for COM1. Same thing, same operation for 2 and 3. This is your ADF radio, Automatic Direction Finder. You use this for navigating when you, uh, if there's no uh, VOR stations around, I guess. Outer changes these two numbers. Inner changes that number here. This one changes this number. 
All right. Same on this side. Off. On. And you can swap between the left and the right. And that's your ADF radio. Over here, you have your transponder. There are actually two transponders in the MB80, but they use the same interface. Here it's on transponder 2, there it's on transponder 1. These are the various modes. When you snap it to test, the spring load goes back to standby and it does a test of the transponder system. System test, okay. Here, when you go to alt off, you're squawking, but you're not giving altitude. Alt on, you're squawking with altitude. TA on only, TARA. TARA is Traffic Advisory Resolution Advisory. This goes between transponder one and two. This outer button and this inner button. This outer button changes that number. This inner button changes that number. And on this side, this outer button changes this number. This inner button changes that number. Hitting here does an ident. And here you can actually uh, set up your TCAS range. You can make it 3, 5, 10, or 15 miles. And here, and this is something I've never seen before, you can actually set your transponder to above norm or below. I imagine you put it to norm when you're in cruise, you put it to above when you're uh, uh, climbing, and you put it to below when you're coming down. That way you can tell the TCAS system to look a certain, you know, look out and sense or scan the uh, airspace that you're going to be going into so that you're, uh, you, know, you have uh, appropriate situational awareness. Uh, almost done here. Alright, so your NAV1 and NAV2. Here is your NAV1. And here's your course needle. One of the things I like about the MD-80 is it's old school. You actually have a course needle. Modern aircraft, well, the, the latest uh, the latest Boeing jets, and I imagine Airbus, they don't have a course needle because all you do is tune your radio and it will automatically capture the course, especially if you're coming in for landing. That's your NAV1, and over here is your NAV2. Outer changes that, this changes that, and here's your course. And I want to say that is all for all the radios for the MD-80. Can't think of anything else. That's all I have. Hope you found this video useful about the communication systems for the Fly the Mad Dog MD-80. My name is Flight Sim Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.